Welcome to In Your Neighborhood. It's a brand new season with a brand new look. I'm your host, Jennifer Wakeman. Well, it takes an awful lot of work to put together a television show. Believe me, I know. Well, imagine how much work 7th through 12th grade students at Mount Carmel Area High School do every day to produce their daily news broadcast and their weekly football program. We were at the high school bright and early one Friday morning to watch the Mount Carmel students in action. Every school day their news show airs live at 7.30 a.m. on Service Electric Cablevision. Announcements, lunch menus, the Pledge of Allegiance and commercials begin the broadcast, followed by school news. Everything is done by the students from cameras to master control to story writing to on-air talent. After the show I had a chance to talk with the teachers and students who bring these programs to life. David McPhee is the television studio director. He is responsible for the students in the studio program, that is, everyone behind the cameras and in the control room. McPhee has been on the job for 11 years, but his relationship with the Mount Carmel Television Studio goes back much further. The program started in 1968. Uh, my father was an art teacher for the school district, and he was very innovative. Uh, he got together with the local cable company, a gentleman named Steve Jepko and they got some students and some cable company workers from JEPCO and they put a television studio up above JEPCO's community cable building. And they started with the first broadcast was a football game in 1968. That was the birth of WJMP-TV and it gives Mount Carmel the distinction of being the first high school in the nation to have its own station for educational and sports programming broadcast on cable television. In addition to football games, the fledgling station ran 24-hour weather broadcasts weekly worship for shut-ins, a public affairs show called Films and Footnotes, and other programs featuring the talents of Mount Carmel area teachers and radio personality Charlie Stake. Since the station was off campus, students were only able to work after school hours. However, when the new high school was built in 1977, the television studio was included in the building, so students were now able to work before and during school. The call letters were changed to WKMC-TV when the school district reached an agreement with Service Electric Cablevision to air their broadcasts. I discovered that they know as much about television production as those of us who do it professionally. Robin Hampton, a senior at MCA, gave me a rundown of her studio experience over the last six years. For football games, I started off as a cable grip, which is done on the field with the shoulder mount, and I'd go and make sure like the cable didn't get tangled, people weren't tripping over it, make sure the football players weren't standing on it, and basically keeping like everything in order there. And then when I was in eighth or ninth grade, I started on our 30-yard line camera, which is basically what we use for replays and close-up shots and for color. And then my 10th grade year, Mr. McPhee's daughter, Jessie McPhee, she started training me on main camera, and then when she graduated, I took over main camera. And then for news, I started out on VTRs, and I progressed my way to the CG, and then I went from the CG to the audio board, the audio board to master control. Currently, McPhee has 19 students in studio. With so many kids and obviously so much to teach, I was curious how he manages it all. As it turns out, his program is built around student mentoring. They watch me for like a quarter on the football game and then I'll stand behind them and they'll do a quarter and I'll help them along if they're having trouble and stuff like that. So it's students teaching students. The same process applies to learning the ropes for football games as well as working on the news program. You know, I help if something support. doesn't work. Right. Right. Once, they, once they're trained, um, they pretty much do everything on their own. Um, mm -hmm. They'll monitor the signal as well. Uh, so we have some kids that are recording and they're compressing for the afternoon uh, to put it on the web. Mm -hmm. But um, everything is done by them. I do very little. Seventh and eighth grade students can participate in studio, but it's not until ninth grade that they can take it as a class for credit. Brianna Lutz is an eighth grader in her second year in the studio. Well, I started out down here working on the teleprompter and the cameras, which is basically where everyone starts out. And now I'm up on the VTR, so it's, um, listening to what Robin was saying, it's probably going to go the same order, I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. And for football games, I started out taking pictures, and I moved to the 30-yard line camera, and now I'm training with Robin up on main camera. Since televising Mount Carmel football games was the catalyst for WJPM and WKMC-TV, 
A lot of work goes into filming and producing each game during the season. On a Friday after morning, as soon as news is over, the kids will start to tear the studio down. And we've kind of planned it out and made it as easy as we can for us. We'll load everything into our truck and I'll get them out of the last two periods of the day, most of the time, and that's only on a home game. On an away game, they have to do the whole day. Uh, we'll go to the stadium and the younger kids will start running the cable. The older kids will start assembling everything. Some of the kids are assigned to putting the cameras together. Once it's all together, they'll test it and then they get to go to eat, and that's usually about three o'clock. They'll be back to the stadium at about six o'clock, okay? They'll get on their cameras, make sure everything is good, and they'll do the game, and many times they get to switch off, okay? Uh, as the night goes through, uh, maybe we'll get done the game 9.30, start breaking down after we get the announcers to do the closing. They're back here to the school approximately 10.30, 11 o'clock, and then they reassemble everything for Monday's news. Their production vehicle is a rehabilitated Tasty Cake truck, dubbed the Screaming Crimpet. Once the studio equipment has been reassembled and tested, the editing work begins. I'll come in and capture it and then they'll begin the editing process with some oversight. Mm -hmm. And uh, usually by Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, the editing process is done and the game airs on Wednesday nights. Fortunately, there is an upside to all the work associated with the football games. I'm in every football game. But it's still kids are running the board, doing yeah. all that? Kids do everything. Uh, I make suggestions. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice because after they get trained and they come up through the program, I get to eat a lot of french fries. <laughs> so. For McPhee, the most significant part of the program is that the kids take more control of each project as the year progresses. It's real gratifying to be able to watch them grow and come through that period where you, you came, they came to in here and they were a little bit shy and didn't know you know, if they could touch this or what they should do. And when they leave, they're, they're telling the young ones what to do and they're, they're directing the program. In addition to the production side of WKMC, there is also a news reporting team. Kathy Schauer, an MCA English teacher, oversees the stories. Her students are responsible for the content that make up each day's news on MCA Live. I've been um, a part of news for three years and last year I was like an assistant editor, but this year I'm actually like senior chief editor of the news. Of the news program. Right, so I like get all the stories together, put them all into the teleprompter, make the bumps and everything, basically mm -hmm. run it. <laughs> news reporting students cover many different aspects of life at MCA. The day we were there, Bridget Demko filed an interview with Chris Carney that she filmed while on a class trip to Washington, D.C. We do uh, uh, a lot of showcasing of students and, and what they're doing around the school. We do some lesson plans. Uh, we do some community events, things that are going on, some advertisements. There's always fundraisers going on at the school. We provide the kids with like scholarship information. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a lot of things that uh, that's covered on a day-to-day -day basis. Even with such a wealth of topics, news reporting students still feel the real-life pressure of a deadline. The most challenging thing is just the fact that every morning, like, you're going on live and you have to have, you have to have like five or six good, legit stories that can be aired and will keep people interested. Apparently, the news reporting staff found us just as interesting as we found them. And our visit ended up on the next edition of MCA Live. All the hands-on experience of the studio and news reporting programs can make planning for college a little easier. Though she's only in eighth grade, Brianna Lutz already has a good idea about her future. I would like to go to either Syracuse or Ithaca University mm -hmm. for their uh, communications programming because mm -hmm. I know Syracuse has a very good one and Ithaca, has a, they do a scholarship. While not every student who goes through the program ends up working in broadcasting or journalism, there are several alumni who have found careers in the field. From Comedy Central to films like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, sports and news production, and even a professor of communications, WKMC-TV alums are making their mark in broadcasting. McPhee, though, can see the applications for his students beyond the world of television. Nowadays, the way technology is progressing, everybody's getting to be a video editor. Everybody's getting to use a camera. And it's more involved in education, it's more involved in business. So even the kids that won't go into this as a profession will benefit from, from using the technology and, and becoming intuitive with it. CCN News 8 is a frequent beneficiary of the high school sports footage shot by the WKMC-TV crew. They even received an award from PCN for a live broadcast of a football game. You can see MCA Live on their website 
at www.wkmctv.com. Up next, we're visiting an uncommon garden in Washingtonville. <laughs>